Hi, it is June 15th. I have found my first caterpillar eggs of the season. These are black swallowtail eggs. I have found them on my bronze fennel, which is where I find a majority of my eggs. Um, they tend to really like this plant. I also, in my garden over here, have rue, which is where I find a lot of black swallowtail eggs. Also over here on my dill, they do like those. Once I gather the eggs, all I do is I just put them in a plastic container. Um, I just put them in there and then I do shut the lid. There is enough oxygen in there. They do, they do just fine in there. If I ever find that the leaves do get a little dry, then I might spritz them with a little bit of water. I, I'm careful though, just I don't like to get mold in there so that nothing happens to them. I like to keep them safe. Once they hatch out of here, then I will put them in a bigger cage and I will show you that process once I get there. This is where we are so far. Today is June 21st and I had my babies that I've been collecting hatch. Um, I have about, looks like an eight or so in here. If you look, these really small little black, what looks like little specks of bird poop. Um, those are the babies. The next stage, I am going to start getting it ready into a bigger cage over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, in this case, this is fennel, the same plant that I found them on. I used a little, just a little cup of water, to use bottles. This is just a smaller cage for now. I'll put a little hole in the top of it. The reason this is important is the babies will go down into the water and drown themselves and we don't want them to do that so I just will end up with it in there like that to get the babies from one plant to the other because they are so small. I will pick up just one of the pieces and and actually if they're already on a piece I'll, I'll do it a couple different ways. Sometimes I'll just put the plant like just lay it on there and let them kind of crawl off if the plant doesn't fall off. That is one thing that can be done. Another thing that can be done is I will take, it's basically a wooden skewer. My friend Emily showed me this as being one of the best butterfly tools who got me hooked into my butterfly habits here. And I will just very gently, I know that's hard to see because they're so small, but I will very gently roll it. Oh, there we go. Sometimes it doesn't, you can use it a little bit of a finger. Just don't squish them. As delicate as they look, they're actually a little bit sturdier than they seem. And then I just kind of roll the skewer. Again, sometimes they go pretty easily. Sometimes they just kind of do their thing. You don't have to poke them or anything. You just very gently roll it. There we go. And then they just kind of hang out. I'm not going to show you all of them because this will take a little while. So I'll be back in a minute once I get these all transferred over. I have 10 little guys that I just transferred over. So as you can see, they're just kind of hanging out here. From here, I will just put them, this is what I call my nursery. It's just a small reptile cage that I have. I just set them in here. Uh, you can use like old candy jars too, something that's clear that you can see in. And I will just set them in there and they'll just kind of hang out. Because these guys are so little and you do tend to get a couple wanderers, I do have a screen that I put over the top until they get a little bit bigger. Then once they get bigger, they will go over to the bigger cage outside. But this way I can keep a little eye on them a little bit more. In a day or two, I will give them some new food. I'll keep an eye on the food that they have. And then I will show you the next stage as they get bigger. It is now June 23rd, so it's just been a couple days since these guys emerged. Just want to give you a quick update. This is what they look like now, just still. Itty bitty little guy is not doing much. Uh, don't move very quickly yet. They still have plenty of food here. So we're just going to hang out. It is July 6th. Just a quick update. These guys are just still growing, getting bigger. We got a couple of nibblers here. Just kind of nibbling away on their leaves. This one's nibbling away on the rue. And you got this one over here. Uh, checking out the fennel. Definitely getting bigger. When they start wandering away to make chrysalises, I'll show you a look at that. It is July 7th. This is what I'm talking about, where they eat pretty quickly now. So I just gave them new food yesterday, and of course they have devoured everything. Uh, this is what they do. A couple of them have started wandering around the cage. 
This could be looking for more food. They might be ready to make their chrysalis. It could be either case. If I give them some more food, uh, they might come back. So this is the at the stage where I kind of let, let them decide what they want to do. I am just going to add a couple branches um, to this. And then what I will do is just let them wander off. They usually will find the food and they actually get pretty excited. And we just kind of keep watching the process. I, this is one of my favorite times actually. I think they get really cute. They start noticing the food and they'll start crawling around and get excited for the food. Okay, so the littler guys, um, I guess if you want to call them like the preschoolers, I have quite a few in here. Um, so instead of individually transferring them, I have found that it's a little bit easier just to add another bottle of plants um, that way. And I just put it close and they do a pretty good job of deciding if they want to stay put where they are or if they want to move over. Um, sometimes I feel like if they're kind of lagging, then I'll kind of help and move a few over. But I have found that they're really good about finding the fresh food and moving on over so we'll just keep a guy uh, eye on these guys they're again they're just doing the same thing as the last group they're just a little bit behind because they're smaller when they get bigger I will go ahead and transfer them over to the bigger cage as well again just because I like to give them the extra space as they make the chrysalis so they have plenty of room it is July 10th and we have chrysalises I had to go away for a couple days and when I came back they had started making the chrysalises um, they're kind of scattered all around the cage. They like to crawl around. And just kind of wherever they end up is where they make them. I think I have about eight right now. I do have a couple more that are hanging out waiting to do their thing. But we are in that stage now. So now we just wait a couple weeks for these guys to emerge. Hi, it is July 18th and the cycle is complete. The first black swallowtail has emerged of the set of chrysalises from the eggs that I found earlier this summer. So we're going to let this guy go. I actually haven't looked at the colors yet. I'm not sure what we have here. So here we go. First of the eggs that we gathered this summer. And there we go. So I have quite a few more back here that I'm waiting. I have quite the collection in here right now. Some new chrysalises, some old chrysalises, some finishing up their snacks. If you look here, you see this one is kind of starting to scrunch up and curl. That's what they do when they're ready. And as these guys emerge, they will just keep releasing them. Well, that is the full cycle of the black, black swallow tail turning from caterpillar to butterfly. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching and have a great day.